mind of a minister, uh, Brother M.H. Kennedy, uh, Brother Tony may know him, he's passed away, gone on to, to glory, but I was in Applebee's with him, and I said, Brother Kennedy, he's from Jackson, Mississippi, started a church there, and a big church, and many churches uh, branched off of that church, and I said, Brother Kennedy, I said, uh, now if God ever lets you know that you're ready to go, like Elijah or, or anything like that, you let me know, because I'm going to be by your bedside, I want your mantle. And he said, well, you don't have to wait a lot. Now, we were in the Applebee's now. And he just stood up. He said, I'll give it to you right now. And so he stood up, made a big scene. Everybody looking, you know. He laid his hands on me, got real loud. and showed my head, messed my hair and everything. And so, so every now and then I feel that. You know, I just, I get to preaching and I feel happy. And I say, excuse me a minute. And I'll just start praising the Lord. Amen. And that came from Brother M.H. Kennedy. And, uh, so if, if that happens tonight, you'll know that I just have to take a little time to give him praise. Let's give the Lord a praise tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. This song says, I'm walking with the king. Put your hands together. Sing hallelujah. I'm walking with the king. Praise his holy name. Walking with the king. Sing hallelujah. I'm walking with the king. Every day I'm walking with the king. Tony, I said, you know me. And I told young evangelists, 
I said, if you're not ready to get on top of the moon just to get people out of their seats, just don't start evangelizing. Just, just don't even start. Be something else. Amen. <laughs> but sometimes you've got to get excited. Amen. That's what this song does. It gets you real excited. It says, can't you feel his spirit in this place? If I can find an old thing right here. Amen. <laughs> I have a sound man normally that does this. Praise the, praise the Lord. Here we are right here. Can't you feel his spirit in this place? Come on, one of those kind of hand clapping songs.
But the price he chose to pay, he could have turned and walked away. He didn't have to suffer shame and agony. But Jesus loved his father more than anything. And he knew the joy that serving him would someday bring. So he walked the hill, he endured the pain, he paid that awful cost. He kept his eyes on the joys beyond the cross. Keep your eyes on the joys beyond the cross. We know heaven just for waiting on the other side. Said I'd been forgiven. The governor of mercy pardoned me. Oh. 
like an eternity had passed, still I was changed. Not much longer could I last, not much time remained. I kept thinking I'd awake and find it wasn't real. Cause no man can I bear the sorrow, knowing there'd be no tomorrow. Then as they were bringing my last meal, don't you know? Let's praise Him now. Sing hallelujah. 
You know, I said, God, you did that. You wanted me so bad. You just made me lose my mettle. And I said, okay, God. And I said some more things that I don't want to, you know, admit I said, said to God. But we, we're, we're honest with God sometimes. And sometimes things out of our real heart come out that we regret later on. And, uh, and I said, okay, God, if you want me to serve you, you'll give me my medal back. And I screamed at him, give me my medal back. Then all of a sudden, I felt like a big old hand of God came over me. And I remember I got so afraid because I, cu I cursed God. I challenged God. The God that my mama taught me about. The, mama, the God that my grandmother feared. I just challenged him. So I took off running through the park. Trying to outrun this big old hand that was following me. And all of a sudden I, I gave up and I slipped with both my knees in that tall grass. And I covered up my head and said, God, please don't kill me. You ever been there? Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. God, I don't know, you know, what I can do by my ability. I don't know, you know, my, you know, actuality, what's here. If I could ever accomplish what I feel I hear you telling me is going to happen. But I'll do it. And all of a sudden, something grabbed my hands. And in the dark, I looked around. I didn't know what it was an angel or what I was afraid to look. Something grabbed my hand. And it stuck it in that tall grass, and I felt something hard. And I grabbed grass and all, and I pulled it up. I jumped to my feet, and I ran to that street light. And I started picking out grass, and all of a sudden, as I kept picking out grass, there was my metal. Don't you tell me you've come a day late and a dollar short to tell me that God does not love you, and God's not willing to do whatever it takes to get your attention to let you know He loves you. He'll turn heaven and earth for you. I still have the medal today. But in my selfie actuality, I couldn't see what God was trying to show me, the invisible thing to me there. But the possibility. Sometimes actuality looks dead and possibilities look impossible.